Hey guys, today I want to show you a quick and easy way to import a CSV file into a MySQL or MariaDB database. Here I have a tool called Heidi SQL opened and I'm connected to my database. And my products table is empty right now, so this is the table that I want to populate. On the right side, I have my CSV file open as a spreadsheet. We can see that the columns don't line up exactly with each other. For example, product price should be the third column, but it's actually column D instead. We're going to see how to take care of that. We are not going to load the CSV file directly into the products table. What I'm going to do is create a temp table to hold the CSV data first, and then I'm going to do a select insert statement from the temp table into the products table. Create a new table. I just call it temp menu data. It's going to reflect what the CSV file look like. So the first column, I'll just call it item number. I'm going to make everything 200. Next one is the item name. Next one is by C indicator. Next one is the price. Next one is the extras column. I'm going to hit save. Here's our new temp table. It's empty. Now I'm going to import the CSV file into this table. Go to Tools, Import CSV. So I'm pointing to the CSV file. If I have a header row, I would ignore the first line, but I don't have a header row. Just in case the import fails, um, I'm going to check this box that says truncate the table before trying to import. That just clears out any partial data reloaded before any error happens. I don't expect to have any duplicates, so I'm just going to pick insert. Over here, the fields are terminated by commas. We are using a CSV file. Just in case the item name has commas in it, we can use quotes to enclose the, the item name. And since I'm doing this in Windows, slash return and slash new line is the line terminator. Here's my target table, the temp table. Now I'm going to click import. We can see down here in the log, 177 rows were imported. So now here I'll just hit F5. Here's our data inside the temp table. Now we need to get this data over to the products table. Let's create a new query. I'm going to generate a select statement for this table. I'm also going to generate a insert statement for the products table. So we are going to do a insert select. We don't need the values. I need to modify this select statement to make the columns match up with the columns in the insert statement. First, I'm going to comment this out so I can execute the bottom SQL by itself. The so product ID maps to item number. This is fine. Product name maps to item name. This is good. The spicy indicator is in a different table. Get rid of this. We have the price mapping to the price, which is good. Product active by default. Everything is active. Extras is also in a different table, so we'll take this out for now. Let's select this data and see what it looks like right now. Our one is product active. We want to get rid of the dollar sign from the prices, so we'll use replace. Look for the dollar sign, replace it with an empty string. And this is our price column. The last column that we need is the category ID. We can extract the category ID from the item number by getting rid of the numbers. So we can do this using regular expression. The subject is the item number, the pattern that we're looking for. We want to replace anything that looks like a number and then we'll replace it with an empty string. And this is our category ID. Now that the select statement matches up with the insert statement, we can run this insert select statement. All right, let's take a look at the data. And it looks good. All right, folks, that is it for this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you learned something today. See you next time.